Hey friend, Alex here from Audio Edges, and today we're talking about one of the most common yet overlooked mistakes in home studios. Let's talk about cables. Now, you might think cables are just cables, right? Not quite. And after you've learned this game changer about cables, I have a special gift just for you. So make sure you stick around until the end for that. Cables, there are balanced and unbalanced cables. And the difference between them, game changing. Let's talk about unbalanced cables first. The best example of this is going to be your standard quarter inch guitar cable with TS or tip sleeve connectors. Meaning this cable has two conductors, one for the signal and one for the ground. It's great for just connecting your guitar to an amp that's close by. The benefits are that it's simple, often less expensive, and it does the job. And these are totally fine to use if you're just tracking a guitar input, so don't worry about that just yet. But here's the real catch. These unbalanced cables are susceptible to noise interference, especially over longer distances. So if you've got long cable runs in your studio, this is not ideal. But there's even one bigger mistake with unbalanced cables that I made myself when I was just starting out. Here is a picture of my first home studio setup, and this was many, many years ago, at a time when I was experiencing a lot of hum, crackling, and buzzing in my monitors. I had no clue what was wrong with them, so naturally I assumed that the monitors were just broken. But after bringing them back to the shop and testing them out there, I was humbled pretty quickly when I found out what the real culprit actually was. I was using unbalanced cables. That's right, at home I was just plugging my monitors into my interface with a couple extra guitar cables I had laying around. And this was causing all sorts of low level hum and noise in my monitors. If there is one place you don't want to be using the wrong cables, it's between your audio interface and your monitors. Imagine spending all that money on some really nice monitors only to introduce noise and interference to them with unbalanced cables. Monitors are designed to reproduce sound with precision and they're also very sensitive for this reason. Do not compromise that clarity. Give them the best signal you can with a balanced connection. Well, what is a balanced cable? The best example of this is going to just be your standard XLR microphone cable or a TRS cable. It's like the unbalanced cable's bigger, smarter brother. And this cable has three conductors, two for the signal and one for the ground. And this makes all the difference and how it works is super cool. Balanced cables carry the exact same audio on the two signal wires, except one of the signals is phase inverted. As the cable picks up noise interference along its way, that noise affects both signal wires inside in the exact same way. And when these signals reach their destination, the phase of the second signal gets flipped back, meaning the difference between the two wires is all that's left. Because the noise is the thing that was the same on both wires, it gets canceled out and all that remains is your clean audio signal. I find that extremely interesting and hopefully I was able to explain that in a way that makes sense. So hopefully it's now become clear as to why you need to use a balanced cable for some of the things in your home studio because it ensures that any interference that creeps in along the way of your cable will get nullified by the time it reaches your monitors, for example. While balanced cables might be a tad bit more expensive than unbalanced cables, they are an an investment in crystal clear sound. If you're tracking some guitar right next to your amp or next to your studio desk, you're, you're gonna be fine with your guitar cable. But there are some roles in your home studio setup that I learned the hard way you're gonna wanna use balanced cables for. And your audio will thank you. If you found this video helpful, I think you're gonna love my ultimate home studio setup guide, which is a 100% free resource so jam packed with information about setting up your home studio that I could probably just sell it as its own book, but it's absolutely free for you, my friend. And the link is at the top of the description for you to download now. With this, I'm hoping I can ask a small favor of you to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks. And I'll catch you in the next one.